Hi everyone, welcome to my playthrough of campaign one of Project Hospital. In this campaign, we have been left in dire straits. We need to work on getting some money in for the hospital, so it's been left by an awful person taking advantage of the taking the money and run. So let's fix the problem. Right, so let's have a look at what the dealio is. Let me check my staff, I think, first. So, I don't have any clinics clinics open at night time yet. Which is fine for the start, because I'm not expecting a mad influx of patients. And I think my other clinics are okay at the start. But I will double check. Right, I've got a janitor. I have got some nurses. I have got my doctors all in place. That is in intensive care. In orthopedics, I've got my janitors. I have some doctors and some nurses. That's okay. This is actually open for nighttime. So what I might do just to get the ball rolling a little bit early is I'm going to open the clinic at nighttime. Are they going to open one? I don't think we need any more than one. Um, just to get the ball rolling. So, all right. So with that, I'm kind of happy with the, the initial setup. So I know there are thereabouts how we're going to do. We're already at five people healed as well, and we have to get to 10. So the main point of campaign one is to pay off the debts. We've got £160,000 in loan debts, which is a lot of money. But luckily for us, we have these challenges. And when we do the challenges, we get the money back to help pay it off. Just enough as well, I might add. I love like when they're pushing the gurneys around and they, they don't animate the corners. So it looks like they're just chucking these really heavy gurneys around with them. So I'm going to skip the night time just to get to midnight, just so we can get that 65% prestige level. And then I have the exciting task of building a general surgery department. Because that is the main point in this one. That's, that's one of the challenges I know because I have done it. So I need to go with upstairs. So I'm going to use this floor as my general surgery department. It's about the right size. If I was building this hospital from scratch, I'd do a floor for each department just for expansion purposes. But... Um, I've taken over hospitals, so I don't want to knock everything down and rebuild it, because that would just be pointless. So, I'm going to get building now. Oops, kabibbles. I'm going to be using the presets, so you can build every room yourself. Um, I will not be here. Mainly because it has everything I need already here, and it just saves a bit of time. I'm also not going to... I always seem to go overboard and buy, like, the biggest one. Apart from the wards, because you need big wards. But I just... I don't need all the nurses, and I don't need all of the doctors. So I'm just going to try and be conscious of that. And only buy the smaller ones for this one. They do the job fine. Right. So I've got all of that. I've got my diagnostics room... Don't need them just yet. I do need an operating room, though. Yes, it can go here, actually. Pretty perfectly. That is really satisfying. I didn't even intend that to be the case. But it just fit. Oh, that's really nice. Double glass door. Boom. And then people can get in and out of the department. And that's looking pretty slick. I'm going to keep that area there clear. Just for the other rooms that we potentially may need. Kind of depends on, like, the situation and what... Um, patients you get in so I like to take the defensive approach on this and wait for the events to occur I like to avoid the alcoholics they kind of ruin the hospital they come in drunk Jane Wright you're in there then we need a nighttime doctor It'll be Rachel Hernandez, I think. Perfect. And that should be that department. Pretty much sound. 
Let's get a janitor as well, just to keep the place nice and tidy. Sweet. I've got to say this controls better than Two Point Hospital. I had a bit, had a bit of a grumpy moment a few times in there, just because I just found, I just found it to be really clunky at times. Whereas this just. It's dead simple, and it's really clean. It's crystal clear. All right, so let's just skip the rest of the night. Let's get through till the morning. Let's bring in the new patients to cure. So the first one isn't actually too difficult. It's, it's like an introductory level, as it were. It gives you a taste. So thankfully didn't take too long to figure out the gist if i need to cure more people i could always do an event like a car crash or a pandemic or something like that but they do put a lot of strain on the hospital so i just need to make sure that i'm prepared for that and not set myself up for failure but there you go look people coming in going to the reception and going to where they need to go which is always good i think my favorite thing about like tycoon games or simulation games is just seeing what you're building work Seeing everyone like move around and do the jobs, it's really satisfying. Oh, there you go. Treat 25 patients per day. Nice one. So reach 70% prestige at the end of the day. So this one, I just need to kind of wait it out. We're at 85 at the minute, which is good. I think we need some more room for some more beds. So that's what I will do now. I'm going to add a new floor. I mean, I could always build out, but I just I find that looks weird. Uh, and I think everything's edge to edge in there anyway, so. Actually, let's have a look. Can we do that? Where is orthopedics? Orthopedics is here. Yeah, so I could delete that and build on top of there. That should work. So let's do that. So we've got regular wards. Then we'll go for another regular ward. And then we'll have two high dependency units, just because I like to keep these kind of the same. But this will be because of that uh, that bonus that we've got going. That daft 30% increase to uh, injured patients. Kind of wish that they had wallpaper and walls separately so you could drag it across multiple walls and not be building walls at the same time. But it's not the end of the world really, is it? Okay, so we've got some more beds now. So that should alleviate the long wait for bed for Carol Adams. But I'm going to just let this day play out now because I'm literally just waiting on the prestige at the end of the day. And I think the rate we're going on, we might actually be able to tick off a couple of more objectives too. So I'm going to let this play. And unless anything comes up that I can show you or anything like that, I will see you when I'm there. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, welcome back. So we got the 70% prestige at the end of the day. We've got the objective for the next one as well done which was enable hospitalization at the general surgery department and the patient number is about to normal so we are now on to the treat 45 patients per day i think that when you complete the challenges more patients come to the hospital so hopefully that shouldn't be too much of a challenge welcome back team let's get working please do your jobs. Save lives. Oh. All right, see, it dipped out a bit there. But we've got quite a few done, which is good. So we're at 13 now. One in surgery. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to do an epidemic. Let's go. Okay, Paul Foster's collapsing. What's up with him? Oh, he's all right. He's got his blood. He's fine. Joseph Smith, what's wrong, mate? Exhaustion. Ah, everyone's collapsing from diarrhea. Good one. My word, they're all going down. That might... This might have been a bad idea. I might have to uh, hire some more nurses this rate. Good one. There we go. All's all right now, people. We're fine. 
They have beds. They're not going to be dying in the corridors. This is where it would be perfect for the passive-aggressive announcer woman from Theme Hospital. Just to remind them not to die in the corridors. I'm not about that life. Long wait for examination chest. Alright, so we might need some more doctors down here. Which I don't think we can actually get anymore. Oops. Oops, kabibbles. Up to the top floor, if you will. And let us build another observation room. A doctor's office. I believe it's a doctor's office I need. Let's build a couple. Yeah, let's get a couple of good old doctors in. I only have myself to blame for this. Everything was going really nice and chill. And then I decided, yeah, let's make it harder. It'd be fine. Oh, there's no beds available in general surgery. Surprise, surprise. We've got no beds available again. I ain't being fancy, but I'm just going to build one there. So that one's there. Is that going to work? Oh, yeah, kind of. No, it's not all. Damn it. Oh, well. This is going to be on the unpretty floor. So we need regular hospitalization first. And then we need a blood transfusion. And then you're going to be all right, Rachel Taylor. Oh, I haven't done this at all. Why? Why can't you heal all these people? And I've got loads of money to get. I've messed it up, people. It's fine. We will survive. Hey, hey. Yeah, fail the event, but who cares? Twenty-five percent higher insurance payments, which is gonna be really helpful. Okay, I need to settle in a bit now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let it play out. Let me catch up after that monstrous event that I shouldn't have done. Uh, and I'll catch you when everything's kind of calmed down a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. So it took a few days. I think it took about six days to calm down after that nightmare of an epidemic, which I shouldn't have done, but you live and you learn. So all I did was I built some more high dependency units just to cope with the influx of patients. And I just kind of waited for the game to catch up with itself just healing patients and i'm paying off the debt bit by bit but here we go this is the last payment of the campaign so i'm so happy there you go jobs are good and that is campaign one done right next on to campaign two well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you subscribe. I'll be back next week with a short and sweet game review for you. And the week after that, I will be here with campaign two of Project Hospital. So I'll see you then. Until next time, ta-ta for now.